Hi. So that noise would would be that road. Um, I'm off on a walk, and I'll tell you a bit about it. So a generation ago, just about uh, 25, 24 years ago, 26 years ago, 26 years ago. Jesus. I went on a bike ride and I went to my grandma's house, uh, which is about 70, 75 kilometers from where I live. Uh, I did that in the middle of the day, which was of course dumb. Um, it was very hot. I, I, I brought along something like a liter of water uh, on my bike and that was it. Um, I went there, I pretty much collapsed and just sat in her couch and then my dad came and got me with his car in the evening and we drove back. Um, there was a badger skull involved too, I might tell you about that later. So, now, I'm back here, uh, but in reverse. So, I rode out here on a bus. Uh, I, have, uh, I have my pack with me, uh, and I'm planning to walk the reverse distance back. And that's gonna take me two, three days, something like that. And, um, the weather is here. Not quite sure what to think about this yet. This might be rainy as nothing else. It might also be just this cloudy. It's not going to get very warm, which is nice. Last walk was very warm. This is better. So I came here last night and I camped out in this little forest thing that I found. Uh, just hanging in my hammock. Had some issues. Uh, with my underquilt specifically, we'll fix that I'm sure in post and um, I'm off and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Right, so I've been walking for two hours just about and uh, the place where I was gonna have my lunch is closed because it's midsummer. so now I have no lunch, I'll figure that out. Uh, it's lovely walking out here when it's not that warm. I'm still, you know, very hot because of, of walking around with the pack, but it's very nice. I, I did have a bit of a scare when I noticed that I didn't have my audiobook, Stephen Fry reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, but it was just hidden in some other folder that my phone didn't want to show me, so. Now we're on Harry's adventure and I'm fast on the road. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how far I've gotten or how far I'm going to go today, but I'm just walking and contemplating and listening to my book. It's a, it's a lovely day. So, in lieu of whatever it was that I was going to find for lunch today, I have homemade, homemade candied marmalade blueberry thing. I have some sort of homegrown cider thing. I've refilled my water and I'm getting a pie. I mean it's not the most nutritious thing that you can get when you're out walking but but the weather is nice and uh, I guess so am I and uh, this is this is what we're gonna get. just too damn warm. Uh, so I've, I've put up my hammock, as you can see, foot out of boot. Uh, just gonna have a nap, I guess, like sleep an hour. I think that's good. When I, when I biked this distance back, uh, what was it, 26 years ago? When I biked this distance, uh, I, I, I took like two, three breaks in total. Uh, one, I was on a bike. Uh, two, I was 26 years younger. Uh, feeling. There's a scene, okay, I'll tell you this. There's a scene with Robert Baratheon and, and Ned Stark in Game of Thrones. And, uh, and it's, it's acted really quite well. Uh, this would be in season one, obviously, where Robert says to Ned that I, I used to be so strong. You remember when you were strong? You can feel that. I, I can I can sympathize with him even though I'm in nowhere near the shape that he ever that he ever was. I mean that guy was a giant. Uh but but still I I feel the inevitability of age. 
as I'm laying here <laughs> complaining about how relaxing my time is in a hammock uh, by a road. But uh, it's, it's nice here, I'm just gonna relax and air out a bit, have a bit of water, nap a bit and uh, press on. See if I can do if I can do five hours of solid walking today, maybe something like that. We'll see. Right. Right. Like so. Ah, see? Very relaxed. Um <sighs> very relaxed. Um so I've been walking for uh, effectively about five hours and um, here comes the rain. I've had uh, my sort of dinner thing, I think. And uh, just gonna take a break here uh, unless the weather turns worse then I'm gonna need to move, set up a, a shelter, but just relax my feet a bit. Um, I'm feeling the weight of my pack, uh, not gonna lie. Uh, I, I'm not used to this weight. Uh, I haven't done, you know, micro light packing or anything like that. I wish I could because this is, I'm, I'm starting to feel the weight basically. Uh, I'm carrying my um, hammock, uh, which is a roux from Kamak, and a dragonfly, which is a bug net also from Kamak. Uh, as a top quilt, I'm carrying a, a, a blanket also from Kamak. And uh, this thing, this uh, is also from Kamak. Uh, they have a, a thick third blanket as well, but that's for winter, so I'm not using that. I have a, um, a sort of tarp shelter for the, the hammock, which is from Go Outfitters, and uh, an underquilt, which is also from Go Outfitters, which I need to refit because it was, it was all skewed up to one end of, of the hammock last night. I managed just fine, but I think I need to, to fix that because my feet were slightly cold. Um, I'm carrying that. I'm carrying the camera, obviously, um, and you know batteries, things like that. I have my. What else am I carrying? I mean, I'm carrying about two liters, three liters of water, something like that. I have very little provisions, which is an issue for me since. This stretch of road doesn't have that many places to, to sit down and eat. Um, I'll be fine. Uh, I have food for tomorrow, uh, enough to get me to the next town anyway. So. Um, I have uh, an extra pair of shoes. I have uh, a change of clothes. Uh, I have a, a warm sweater. But I don't see what I could strip, what I can get out of that without... You know, being far less comfortable than I am now, so. Is that distant thunder? Uh, I mean, I have I have rain gear and stuff. I just, I'd prefer not to use it, but this is summer in Sweden, so this is what we get. Uh, I passed a store, and there were these, um, these um, ladies talking about how how the uh, drought and uh, lack of rain was going to ruin blueberry season, raspberry season, and strawberry season, mushroom season, all of the seasons. And of course that's going to happen if you don't get any rain. And, uh, and now we're going to get a bit of rain today and I'm sure people are going to complain that, oh no, it rained on midsummer. Oh well. I also have a story that I'm going to tell but I might make a, a separate clip of that when I'm not by the road. Okay, we're gonna rest for a bit and then press on. So this is halfway. It doesn't look like much, but it took a while to get here. I'm not sure if I have another hour in me, but I'm gonna give it a go. Um, the road is a bit strange. I, I was just sitting here, um, taking a break. Uh, I needed to air out my shoes a bit. And a car stops. And this gentleman gets out and speaks to me in a language I do not understand. And and he hands me uh, two burgers and a juice. And uh, shakes my hand. Uh, his, his friend offers me cigarettes, manages to convey in German, of all languages, that I don't smoke. And, and he asks me where I'm going. 
and uh, now I have two hamburgers. Unfortunately, I, I can't eat them since they're meat and I'm not a meat eater. But I'll take the juice. It's, it's by an international no preservative brand. So that has to be good, right? Um, thank you, uh, kind strangers. And then they went off on their merry way. And uh, yeah, it's weird. So the clouds, the sky is now overcast with, with these clouds. I've felt a few drops of rain. I'm not terribly worried. I have I have ample protection from from the rain if it comes. I'm gonna try for another dare I say hour maybe and then just not walk for 12 hours I think my feet would appreciate that and uh, push on tomorrow I've done really really quite good so far so. but check in again later that's the sound of rain on my hammock torp uh, roof hello uh, this is my lumi noodle it is fantastic so uh, this is pretty much it for today I've done ten and a half hours today I've walked six and a half out of those ten and a half I've covered about 33 kilometers 39,000 steps in total. Lots of breaks. Uh, had pie. Saw uh, lovely um, Jack Daw was the name of the bird. I saw another dead animal. Uh, I don't actually know what kind. Uh, oh, I should tell you. When I did this trip 26 years ago uh, on my bike, I came across a dead badger on the way. And uh, when my dad brought me back, um, we actually stopped and picked up that the badger, what, it, what was left of it. It was mostly bones. And I remember we, we tried to figure out how to clean the bones and, um, and preserve them. And I still think I have part of the skull uh, somewhere. Uh, I didn't pick up this animal. Uh, it was it was far too intact. I couldn't you know, transport it anyway. Uh, I was laying peacefully in the road, and uh, I just moved it aside so that it doesn't get smushed in traffic. Um, now I feel I should probably just lay here and be as still as possible for a long time, uh, say until tomorrow morning. It's the summer solstice, so it's light out. It's going to be light out for a good long while. And I'm just going to lay here and think about nothing. And uh, and while the hour is away and hope that my feet are up for the task of getting the rest of, of this done tomorrow. Uh, my map is pointing to my ultimate destina destination. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm actually going to go for that destination. I might go for for town instead it's it's uh, on the way so but we'll, we'll we'll see it depends a bit on how I feel tomorrow um, this is a good walk I like it and uh, I'm, I'm happy that I'm doing this uh, happy midsummer everyone so I slept in which was nice and now broken camp and uh, had my breakfast and it's, I don't know, 11. And uh, I'm gonna set off and see how far I get today. I'm feeling my left foot particularly. Um, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Yeah, two more. But I'm past the halfway mark, so that's encouraging. Uh, and uh, um, I'll just I'll just see how it happens when when I start moving again and and see how well my my feet can manage. Hello, uh, and uh, it's a glorious day. Not that much chance of a 
any rain right now, so that's good. The circle completes itself. As I'm walking along this road, uh, I find yet another dead badger. The, not the same one as I found 26 years ago, but there's a dead badger here. So it's a certain, um, a certain feeling of closure as I'm looking at this um, traffic victim. And um, I, I thought it was very fitting. Taking a break, I'm almost within striking distance of my destination, about four and a half hours. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so I have plenty of daylight, weather is nice, uh, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. I am dead tired. I actually thought there'd be a town here. There's not a town here. It's a rest stop. That's not the same thing, if, you haven't, if you're not aware, towns have stores and uh, you know places where you can sit down and have something to eat uh, this does not this has I can I can refill my water here but the view is kind of nice um, even from within the bug net now uh, before I I have my lunch and have an hour of sleep I just wanted to mention that hammock camping is so good to me I mean, really, putting this this hammock and and bug net up took me, you know, I, I'm tired. So five minutes, I could probably have done it in two if I'd been rushing it. But five minutes, and I have a shelter. I'm not on the ground. I'm comfortable. There's not going to be any bugs that get to me. Uh, I could just get a blanket in here and and sleep if I if it wasn't too cold. Uh, I'm well contained in here and it and it takes seconds to break down uh, again so it's it's really quite good for me it's so much better than having a tent that being said this um, hammock is a um, is a room from Kamak um, uh, the bug net is a dragonfly also from Kamak the uh, tarp that I was using is Go Outfitters, so is the underquilt. The overquilt is a field, it's called a field, also from Kamak. And I have a mesa also from Kamak, which is sort of a, uh, a tarp that I use to protect my gear on the ground. I was hoping to get to use the Sunda, also from Kamak, uh, but the one I had is in for repair and I didn't get the, the new one. I'm also looking forward to uh, the, the Lacey from Krua. I don't know if it, what real name it actually has, but it looks fantastic. I, I did want to use the Go Outfitter hammock, uh, but it weighed slightly more than this setup that I'm using now. And uh, it comes with its own bug net and stuff, and I, I wanted the option of not hanging the bug net if I was just taking a nap or something. So, so uh, I, I didn't want the weight uh, essentially, and I think that might have been a, a wise decision. Hammocking is so much better than tents, although I must say the Sunda or Sunda or whatever it, uh, is fantastic because you can use it as a tent. So you can do the same with the Krua as well, but the Krua is very sort of uh, hardy, it's, uh, it's meant for rougher weather. In this weather, it'd be completely wasted uh, because it's nice and warm and not enough rain and no storms or anything. So I don't see why I would carry all that extra weight if I'm going out on on a, a wilder trip with you know autumn weather and storms and stuff. That would be absolutely my go-to. But the Sunda uh, as a tent was very spacious and very lovely to use, and I, I look forward to doing more of that. Not right now. Now I have to rest and then have at it four and a half more hours maybe we'll see this is the look of a man who has walked a bit too far I feel um, I have covered uh, it says 59 kilometers on the sign it says it, I have 13 to go Whew, that's another two hours something like that I, I, I don't know <laughs> my feet are tired uh, but I did find somewhere to eat um, 
had a soda and and some fries you know sodium is good for you at this stage I uh, got out of my shoes sitting down to rest gonna give it a good hour by this busy intersection it seems it was dead quiet a moment ago uh, and and just feel out how it feels is this gonna be two hours as an evening walk is it's coming up on evening now or is it gonna be a two hour morning walk I'll just camp out here and do the the last two hours tomorrow morning I, I don't know at this point uh, but this is this is a good experience I'm, I'm realizing a bunch of stuff about how much I can walk and, and my own limits and stuff and it's also giving me a, a, a sort of insight into the mechanics of a game that I'm writing I'm gonna have to put that to heart when I get home and see what I can do to to, to put this to good use. Um, I don't know what sort of finishing thoughts I can put into this once I get there because I'm just gonna be bushed anyway. So I'll, I'll do them now, I guess. Um, first thing is that cutting weight is fantastic if I can do that. I don't know exactly how. Maybe the Sunda will be slightly lighter than the setup they have now not sure I don't not sure about convenience of that either but cutting weight is essential and um, I might have carried one thing or one bob too many uh, I was geared up for more rain than I got and stuff like that but then again I might have gotten rain and without rain covers I would have been a very miserable cat so yeah, uh, batteries are holding out well, both power bank, camera, phone, all that stuff. So that's that's good. Carrying enough power is very essential. Uh, I'm not carrying my solar charger. I think I can do without it. Um, I, I don't need it more than I would need a power bank or a second power bank if that would be the case. If I, you know, if I'm running time time lapse on my on on the GoPro. Uh, which is recording this, uh, then I would probably need to carry a second power bank just to, to recharge the GoPro batteries. I tried that when I was going to, um, on my last walk, well, a year ago when I tried my last walk and failed. Uh, I tried that walk again this year and I succeeded. That's 10 kilometers shorter than this. Uh, so I'm just four or five kilometers short of how far I got. That was a month ago. And now I'm pushing another 10 kilometers on top of that. And it's going okay. I mean, if I had, if I had less weight, this would have not been an issue. I could have easily done seven and a half, well, 75 kilometers. It wouldn't have been a problem. Now I am feeling it. I am feeling it a lot. My feet are battered and bruised at this point, but I think I can still do it. Uh, I'm not gonna quit this close to go. Um, I've been I've been asked to. Uh, my dad is at the destination, and he he's been suggesting that he can drive out here and then come get me or bring me food or something, but. And I've seen buses pass by as well. I could probably just flag one of those down. And, get. and, and I've been offered rides now three times. People have stopped and, and, and intimated in one language or another uh, if I want a ride. But I've turned them down. Because the challenge is important. The challenge is far more important than the destination. We'll see how the challenge goes. Whew. So my journey comes to an end. Uh, I'm not at a um, motorized crossroad. I'm on a bike trail. The sun is setting quietly, epically behind me. And uh, I have I have a few hundred meters to go to uh, my father's house where I can get out of my shoes, and get a shower, and go to sleep, which I'm looking forward to greatly. Uh, this has been a learning experience. I'm not quite as taxed as I was when I went uh, my, my trip uh, about a month ago. You can look at that clip too. It was about a 13 hour hike. This is about 15, something like that. Taking about an hour or two more.
to, to do this. Uh, I think the destination helped, knowing that I'm going to a place where I can sit down and rest and not just wandering to a train station where I'm supposed to get on a train and then head home. Uh, because I was I was burned out when, when I came to that train station. The last few hundred meters were just, they were awful. Um, and then I couldn't walk properly on my feet for a few days. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that now either, to be honest, my feet are kind of raw. As long as I keep moving, it's okay. But when I've stopped and had a break and I, I start again, it, it, you can feel it. But anyway, um, that's that's my little journey. Uh, if you stayed this long, thank you. Don't bother subscribing. There's not a lot of contents coming out here. And uh, have a great time. And I uh, hope you have lots of fun hiking uh, this summer. Bye.